So, um, if you could go ahead and um, take action now, and you can go ahead and PM me if um, if you're kind of in the last second. We're trying to log everybody down for it uh, as we speak. So, um, last call on raffle tickets. Wow, I haven't seen this many people in one channel in forever. <laughs> At least since our last quarterly meeting. <laughs> That's so fun. Everybody <laughs> wants to hear that. Say hail swarm. Hail swarm. Hail swarm. Hail swarm. Hail swarm. Let's bunch, kick bunch. this meeting off in the usual fashion with a big hail swarm. Uh uh, hail swarm. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> Absolutely. Right on. Thanks, everybody. And, and appreciate it. I think we were uh, starting in record time right now, only 15 minutes late, which is uh, pretty good for us. We, we generally, uh, you know, uh, we have a lot of meetings that are going on. So I'm glad that we could um, work a little bit better towards that, which is great. And um want to thank everybody for uh, taking time out of their day to uh, kind of be a part of our uh, quarterly global meeting. Um, we want to just, you know, I, I think, you know, much like was brought up, you know, just a moment ago, um, it's really great to get us all in the same room together. Um, you know, we're all a part of this amazing community that we call home. And, um, you know, I, I think it's easy for us to um, potentially lose sight of, of the grand um, spectrum when, when we're in, you know, our given chapters. We have so many chapters that um, are part of what we do here and, and so many different um, elements of this community that, you know, it's easy for us to kind of get locked into whatever we're doing and, um, you know, not necessarily realize, hey, we're, we're part of something bigger here. And, um, and so I, I really appreciate personally, and I think we all do, um, when we can just take a moment and all get together here and just kind of hang out as as a swarm family because that's what we are, and um, you know it, it really means a lot to us um, because you know that's it's really one of the primary reasons why we're all here. It's it's to be a part of a family, to be a part of um, the community that we have. Um, it's that we believe in in kind of what what we're doing here and. Um, you know, I think I think it's uh, a lot of times. You know, a lot of us come from from other guilds or you know other gaming um, communities or experiences or whatever. And for whatever reason, you know, we kind of realize that you know what I think that's just not for me or whatever. And I know you know speaking back all those years ago, uh, you know, 16 years ago now. Um, you know, looking back on our experience, that's what kind of um, myself and my co-founders, we were all kind of of that mindset was like, hey, you know what? I think there's, we're just not really satisfied with, with what we're seeing out there and, and, you know, hopefully there's a better way and we didn't find it and we ended up, you know, building this community and, and the rest is history. So, um, uh, you know, just every day looking on here and seeing um, all the amazing people that support and are a part of what we do here is inspirational to myself. And um, I can't thank you all enough for, for being a part of it because it's a vision that we had um, so long ago. And it's something that I think um, just, again, looking at, at the results and, and <clears throat> all the people that have been here, um, it's so inspiring to to see everybody kind of be on board with that and, and have that same type of belief system. So can't thank you guys enough and a big hell swarm. So um, what we want to do here today is maybe uh, give an opportunity for people to um, share. Obviously, we have um, our chapters um, that, again, like if you're focused on one chapter in particular, um, we want to give everybody an opportunity to hear what the other chapters are doing, because you may not be aware, as well as, you know, potentially hear some feel-good stories for, um, you know, newer members, or if anybody has any experiences that... Um, they've had that you're like oh my gosh you know this is why um you know i really love being here um or whatever um those are always fun to hear but um 
This is going to be our last big meeting before the new year, so uh, really important for us, I think, to kind of get together and recap all the amazing stuff from 2015. Um, we have a couple announcements as well that we'd like to make. To make um, brand new chapter that's going to be going official right off the bat. Blade and Soul. A big um, shout out to everybody that's been a part of that. Um, it's been a chapter and a game that I've been following personally for years and years, actually even before Terra came out. So, um, really looking forward to um, seeing where they, those guys take it to, um, and we'll have an update from them in moments. Um, so, looking forward to that. Also, uh, Black Desert, um, that's a game that some of us have been involved in on the Korean side for some time. Um, we'll be talking a little bit about that, that the uh, North American release is literally days away. It is, it is next week. It is happening so soon. Um, and uh, also a big special shout out, um, and this is something for us all to kind of be aware of, is that, you know, um, we, when we look at uh, games, and this is something, again, everybody has a voice in, like, if you're interested in a game, and you're like, hey, I want to, I want to, I want to play this, there's this new game coming out, and I'm super excited for it, um, that's why we have our forums, uh, gives everybody an opportunity to like, hey, um, here are some upcoming games. I want to, you know, drop this title in the hat. And when it builds some steam and you see other swarmers interested in it, um, then we can start taking a look more seriously at a community level and be like, okay, well, it's time to, um, you know, invest some resources and see if we have uh, more people that are ready to, cut to uh, kind of take the reins on that chapter. Um, and again, you know, Blade and Soul and Black Desert, I think, are, are prime examples of that. Um, so please um, stay active on the forums, and and if you hear of a game or something, post it up there cause, so that we can know and and you know take appropriate action and planning. Um, along those lines, as chapters kind of mature and grow within the community, um, we do want to kind of observe, and if we see like chapters are starting to get build a lot of steam, um, we have we have ways at a community level where we kind of gauge you know what the parameters are and what we look at as far as like okay this is a chapter that we're really strongly supporting here as a community and you know there's certain check boxes and stuff that we like to fill on that um, and there's one chapter in particular that we would like to take this opportunity today at this meeting to announce as uh, moving on to a primary Sinister Swarm chapter, which means it's the the top of the activity level, and these guys have been doing amazing, and uh, cannot thank them enough for all the hard work that they continue to do, but I would like to congratulate the Final Fantasy chapter for moving on to prime time! Hail Swarm! Hail Swarm! Great job, you guys, and thank you again, Clea, for all your hard work in making that happen. I mean, uh, literally, she's been the driving force there, and um, we're going to give her an opportunity to share more on that um, in moments. Um, and before we do, um, I think a lot of people are aware of our orientations and um, the procedures involved with that, but... Um, this is something, again, that we feel pretty strongly about at a community level. Now, we're always looking to improve and see if there's ways that we can um, streamline the process or make it, um, you know, better than, than what it is. But um, right now, as it is, we have a um, uh, kind of a, uh, almost a school, really, in place for people that are interested in starting down the path of like, hey, I want to, you know, I'd like to give back to the community and, and help um, give orientations as well. Um, and Queen Fate has been um, really the driving force of all of that. So um, I would like to uh, turn the floor over to Fate to um, maybe share with the community a little bit about what she's been doing with um, the orientation program. Queen Fate, you're up. Thank you, Emperor Venom. And Hail Swarm! It is so great to see you guys here today. It's really exciting. Well, a lot of people don't know about the orientation certification program, so I thought I'd um, talk a little bit about it. Um, being a gatekeeper 
is one of the most important jobs in our community. We've worked really hard to build our community, and we want to protect what we've built. We don't want to let just anyone in. We're looking for the ones out there who are actually looking for what we have to offer, the ones that who hear our laws, they just seem like common sense, you know? So it's a really, really important job. Um, now, the certification program is currently uh, for soldier bees who are either a herald, a vice herald, or on a killer bee quest. Um, once they hit one of those, um, criteria, then they're automatically enrolled, and I send them the materials and form PMs that they'll need and so forth. Uh, there are certain objectives that they do have to complete in order to get certified, uh, and I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one work with them. Uh, my goal in the program is to ensure that they feel comfortable and confident leading orientations and being an effective gatekeeper before they ever get in a situation where they're doing a live orientation. Uh, you know, it covers all three parts of the orientation process, the interview, the orientation, and the documentation. And uh, some of the objectives uh, that the program includes, um, one of them is to attend at least one orientation clinic. Um, now, uh, I think most of you know that I lead clinics on the first Sunday of every month at 10 a.m. Pacific, that's noon central and 1 p.m. Eastern, um, and I also them. One month it'll be a recruitment clinic, which is open to everybody, new being up, and the next month it'll be an orientation clinic, which is open to any soldier bees and up. They don't have to be a herald, they don't have to be on the killer bee quest, just any soldier bee who is interested is more than welcome to attend that orientation clinic. Um, they only last for an hour, and you can, uh, you can log in from your phone or other device, and I do uh, keep records of who comes, so you can get credit for it later. Um, that way, if you do find yourself in a position where you're needing to get certified, uh, you don't have to wait until the next clinic if you're working on getting certified. Um, so even if you came to, you know, an orientation clinic two years ago, um, and I can uh, go back and, and find that documentation, then uh, you'll get credit for that. So you don't have to wait. Um, so if you think you might be interested in being a herald or a vice herald at some point, or if you may be looking down the road and thinking, hmm, you know, I might be interested in taking on more responsibility and possibly, uh, you know, being on a killer bee quest at some point down the road, I encourage you strongly to go ahead and attend the orientation clinic. Um, it doesn't hurt, I promise, you don't just have to sit there and listen to me talk for an hour. It, that would be really boring. Um, everyone participates, and uh, we learn from each other. I'm just there to facilitate it. Um, so I do encourage everybody who's interested to go to the clinics. Um, and also, in order to get certified, there's a quiz involved. It's kind of like a soldier bee test. It's a little bit longer. It's got 18 questions. Um, but that's also to help um, be prepared. Uh, and one of the things that I think really makes a difference, a huge difference, is that we do some role play ses sessions or like practice orientations and give feedback. I get, I drag different people in to help me with that. Um, sometimes you might get a nice recruit and sometimes you might get a not so nice one. Um, but I want you to be prepared for anything you might encounter. So um, it, it really, uh, I think it really does help. And um, once they complete the program and they get certified, they get a mark next to their name and event to show that they've been certified. It looks kind of like a little degree uh, mark. Um, Green Fox actually just got certified today. If he's around here, um, I could show you on him, but it looks like a little degree sign. It's a little circle up at the top, um, and that, that designates them as someone who uh, has completed the program and it is certified to uh, lead orientations. Um, and my uh, advice to anyone who is interested but may not be eligible to be enrolled in the program at this time is to attend the clinics, if, it, if at all possible, and really to sit in on as many orientations as possible. That's the best way to learn. Um, you know, uh, I know that... Er Anyone that I know of that leads orientations, they certainly won't mind if you sit in on their orientation, so don't be afraid to. Um, you know, and ask if you have any questions about the process, you know, uh, recruitment or orientations, uh, just ask any herald um, or ask me, um, and uh, we'd all be glad to help you. Um, so, and if everybody, I think that uh, most of you are already, but if you have not done so, go ahead and open up the chat box in Ventrilo, please. It's the third button down over on the right-hand side. Uh, we like to have that open during meetings so that if anybody has any questions or comments, they can type it in there or type slash raise so we can pass you the microphone. Um, does anybody at this time have any questions about uh, the orientation certification program or the clinics or anything at all um, regarding orientations? Our lesson?
Um, it's not a question, but uh, Fate mentioned the little degree mark that you get next to your name if you're a soldier bee who is uh, certified to perform orientations. Um, if you look next to mine, um, it's in between soldier bee and the capital H, which means that I'm Harold. So if you're wondering what that looks like, that's what that looks like. And so I'm more than happy to do orientations for you guys. I do need a KBK to, um, to update the Google Docs for me, but that's what that looks like. Thank you, Alyssa, and I don't want to put you on the spot, um, but would you be willing just to, uh, you know, in a few sentences, um, maybe share a little bit about how the program helped you uh, feel confident um, in doing orientations? Because I know you love to do them. Oh, absolutely, yeah. The I think that the orientation certification program is really great because I think it, it teaches you a lot of stuff about orientations, especially if it's been a while since your own. Um, so, you know, like Fate said, you know, you have the orientation clinic. Um, there's lots of material that she sends you so you can read over, you know, the sample um, orientation outline that you can follow. Um, Fate helps you through uh, your, your first orientation after you've taken the quiz and done the orientation clinic and it I think it really really helped me you know feel a lot more comfortable with doing orientations and obviously you know the learning process does not stop after you know you get orientation certified it took me probably five orientations before the KBKs who would sit in with me had you know a, a whole list of suggestions that I could incorporate into how I did orientations so you know obviously you're not going to be perfect at it right off the bat but I think that it it really helped me to to learn a lot more, kind of, you know, refresh everything in the critical info and kind of learn a lot more about the swarm and how to welcome people into it. So I, I would highly recommend, you know, people who might be interested in, you know, helping do orientations down the line, try out the clinic. You know, it's very interactive. You know, it's not just fate talking at you, <laughs> although we don't mind if fate talks at us because she has lots of interesting stuff to say. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's it's a nice interactive process. You practice interviewing each other and it, I think it's a really, really worthwhile program. Thank you, Arles. I appreciate that. And, um, yeah, I encourage anybody to, to ask if they have any questions or comments. Um, but, yeah, I appreciate you letting people know how it helped you. And, uh, yeah, so I, I know we have a lot lined up tonight, so I'm not going to take up too much time. Um, but uh, I'll go ahead and, and pass back to Emperor Venom. Thank you very much, Queen Fate. Really appreciate that. And again, that's something that um, has been a huge part of our community and is really important for what we do here. Um, we like to look at ourselves as as kind of the oasis from you know a lot of the the standard stuff that you just see out there. And a lot of us, I think, um, by the show of, of participation we have in this uh, meeting right now. A lot of us are really, you know, believing in what we do here, and it's something, it was a vision that we had way back in the day. Um, we just uh, believed that there was something more. Um, we felt that there was, um, you know, uh, you know, some maturity that was lacking in a lot of the guilds and, um, you know, uh, activities that we were uh, a part of years and years ago. Um, and so that was kind of um, part of the reason for uh, establishing the community and the Sinister Swarm that we know today. So um, really appreciate everybody for being a part of that. The orientations, obviously, um, are another element and a tool that we have to ensure that um, when we're bringing new people into the community that they're not going to kind of disrupt the amazing chemistry that we have here. Um, Obviously, when people are part of our community and uh, all you guys that are here um, kind of know and understand like, hey, uh, everybody here is cool and they're going to respect me and they're not going to just, you know, start spouting their mouth off or just, you know, talking smack. Um, that's that's kind of part of our commitment to you guys as members and the orientation process is a big part to ensure that we're not just allowing just anybody to walk on in here without kind of having that understanding of like, hey, this is a place of respect and where we want to feel comfortable and, and knowing that we're part of a family and something bigger than ourselves and, um, you know, that we're not just here to, to try and leech off it and, oh, let me just, you know, get get my loots, my gears, and uh, and then I'm going to move on type of thing. It's more of like, hey, how can I help the team? What can I do um, to support um, the community and to help, uh, you know, the swarm grow and be, you know, better than it is um, on a daily basis? So... Um, that's just all part of the process and really appreciate everybody for um, supporting that and being a part of that. So, big hail swarm! Hail swarm! Hail swarm! Hail swarm!
<laughs> awesome, guys. Well, we'll move on to our next portion of our meeting, which is our chapter updates. And this is where we kind of get an opportunity to see what's been going on in all the various elements. If you look down vent, you'll see that there's a lot of different channels, a lot of different games that are listed, and a lot of those are um, chapters that we are supporting on uh, at a variety of different levels, whether it's official, primary, or just kind of a casual game. But... Um, we want to give our chapter lords an opportunity to uh, share a little bit about them. So um, let me uh, turn the mic back over to Queen Fate for Guild Wars 2. Thank you, Emperor Venom. And Hail Swarm! Can't say that enough. Well, you know, last time I had pretty much of a fancy little update with music and the whole nine yards, but I really don't have a fancy schmancy spiel to give you guys today to tell you what's going on in Guild Wars 2. Instead, um, this time I'd really um, rather let the game speak for itself. Um, I'm going to actually link this in the chat box for you guys. And, you know, you can now try out Guild Wars 2 for free. The core game is available for download as a standalone game that allows you to do pretty much everything the basic game has to offer. You just have to wait a little bit longer, reach a higher level before you can access certain things. But it's a great opportunity to try it before you buy it. Um, and if you'd like to purchase a new expansion, Heart of Thorns, there are several options uh, starting just under $50, depending on if you want some fun extras. And of course, as always, there's no monthly fee whatsoever, and you never have to buy anything to make you more competitive. Uh, the best package deal is actually uh, the one that's just under $100, and it includes the standard game, the Heart of Thorns expansion, 4,000 gems, which is a $50 value, an additional character slot, a miniature writ lock, uh, a revenant finisher for PvP, a Mortemoth's Bane guild hall decoration, and a Heart of Thorns glider skin. Wait, what's that? Oh, you want to know what the glider skin is all about. Well, that's a very good question. Guild Wars 2 has literally taken us to new heights. All of the new zones, including Verdant Brink, the Orc Basin, Tangled Depths, and Dragon Strand. They now utilize certain mastery skills, including gliding, and it's so much fun! Other masteries allow you to communicate with new races, to unlock various skills or items. There's jumping mushrooms and updrafts that lift you up to the top tiers called the canopy, where you can then glide down to the jungle floor, or even subterranean depths, where there are events going on simultaneously. The storyline is very challenging in itself, and if you're looking for a really new challenge, ArenaNet just added 10-man raids to the game. That's right. And all the world v. world maps, the world versus world maps, have been totally redone, and they are even more impressive than ever. Plus, we now have new guild missions for PvP and world vs. world. Um, so there's really too much new and exciting stuff to cover in just the three to five minutes I've got. So I really encourage you to check out that link in the chat box and download it for yourself. Um, like the new Revenant Heavy Armor class is totally OP, and it allows you to do things you'd never even imagined before, like using a hammer as a ranged weapon to do some awesome DPS, or a staff that's used as a melee weapon for healing. Uh, not to mention the new Stronghold PvP system, the new skills, builds, and thrills. Uh, once you get the free version downloaded or purchase the expansion, you'll be able to join us for our house swarming, aka Hell Swarming, when we dedicate our new tavern that we're building in our gorgeous new guild hall zone. Uh, we've battled Mortar Moth's forces to take an ancient golden city located under a huge aquifer, and we're restoring it to all its former glory, making it our home. Uh, we'll even have our own PvP arena there to host guild versus guild battles and tournaments, and it would truly be our pleasure to give you a tour and show you what we've been working on. And speaking of work, I'd really like to take this opportunity to thank all of the Guild Wars 2 members for their hard work, their dedication, and their generosity in making it all possible. Uh, special thanks go out to our official scribe, Agathu, our captain, Elijah, Warlord, Kara Fox, and Vice Warlord, Azure, Dungeon Lord, Bayor, and Vice Dungeon Lord, of Lane, our Herald, Arlesa, Media Manager, Baron Nyland, and our two newest officers, Quartermaster Wood and Lieutenant Despion. All of them would be more than happy to tell you more. So hop on in the Guild Wars 2 channel and then anytime. We'll be glad to send you an invite and game along with a welcome package containing some consumables, inventory bags, and armor dies to get you started. We've got daily activities that cover all three aspects of the game, so there really is truly something for every bee. Hellswarm. 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 Hellswarming? Hellswarm. I saw what you did there. Awesome. Good stuff. Thanks, Fate. And uh, let's uh, turn it over to uh, our next uh, primary chapter. Wow. And uh, turn it over to Angel Hawk. Hellswarm. 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 
Well, Fate beat me to the punch, too, because uh, I also uh, had an amazing musical repertoire set up for you guys, but... Uh you know, decided just to kind of tone it down for the holidays so the Christmas joy and just kind of give you guys a little heart-to-heart -heart wild talk. Hell Swarm. Hell Swarm. Hell Swarm. Hell Swarm. So hopefully it won't be too boring. Uh, but yeah, it's been an amazing year for a while. We're just over a year, year old and uh, yeah, I can already just kind of look back on last year and remember uh, just a few guys coming together who, who wanted just to have a good time and uh, be casual and uh, relax in a game we haven't played in years. And uh, uh, wow, what a, an amazing year it's grown into, um, you know, a very strong prime chapter. Um, really proud of the achievements this team has made over last year. Um, currently, we got a lot of... Um, people going over to the Blade and Soul chapter, uh, so that has been really awesome to see those guys grow uh, in the WoW chapter, and uh, I couldn't be happier for them uh, to be able to go and join in, in that team, and uh, that's definitely a, a lot of, um, um, you know, it just makes us feel good that they were part of our team as well. Happy to see them go. Uh, but that does open up some opportunities. Uh, you know, if you guys uh, haven't been played in a long, long time, uh, we do have an awesome expat coming soon. And uh, Or even if you've already been playing, you got a character uh, you just tinker around with, uh, you know, just come help us out, man. Join. Uh, come check us out, see what we're doing. Uh, love to have you, uh, even if you're on a different server uh, or anything like that. Uh, you know, that's always an opportunity uh, that we can have. Um, in WoW, so uh, just anyone we're looking for people that uh, want to do maybe just go back to some old school raiding or uh, all the great things that WoW has. It has more than uh, just about any game on the market. Uh, it has something for everybody. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, you know, just from pet battles to hardcore rating and everything in between, it's pretty awesome. Uh, so uh, definitely, if you haven't thought about it in a while, you know, uh, maybe you fire it up. Uh, there's no better time than get WoW than, than right now because basically you can get a whole setup package, a uh, new account, uh, boosted up to 100 uh, for like less than $20 right now. You can get the current uh, expansion pack as well as WoW base game. Uh, it's on sale, so do check that out. Uh, so at this time, I'd like to give a little bit of shout-outs to just amazing team leaders that we have. Uh, they've kept this uh, this really running strong. And uh, first, I just give uh, you know really special kudos and, and appreciation. Thanks out to Sweet and Easy and Ant, who were just an outstanding uh, vice lord for me and an outstanding herald. Uh, gush, gush, one of the best I've ever had to work with Ant. And uh, miss you guys entirely, but uh, definitely uh, that's my feel good. And shout out to you guys who were just amazing all year. Amazing not only for us, but also the community and the tons of um, little quests you all have done and orientations and whatnot. And uh, we definitely appreciate and miss you guys. Hail Swarm. But on the fresh blood side, we got uh, Green Fox, who's uh, stepping up uh, to be our, our awesome new herald, and uh, he has gone through Fate's amazing orientation process, and uh, so feel, feel free to use and abuse him. Uh, he's an uh, up-and-coming awesome guy, so he's, he's really been doing a great job of stepping out and finding ways to recruit for us afresh, uh, just give that new perspective. Uh, he's fired up. Uh, this guy, uh, who I'd also like to award one of my lotto tickets to, tonight um, for he has just you know whether it's just thrown in an event uh, you know for whatever the weekly updates are going on uh, he'll throw up a casual event so he doesn't just uh, you know recruit and then call it a day uh, he's always there if there's two people there he'll figure out something to do with those two guys so green I deeply appreciate you brother uh, you're doing an awesome job they'll swarm uh, so on to the uh, Dungeon Lord team, uh, Grass Pants is currently on a wowcation. Uh, everybody needs one of those every once in a while. So uh, and and he did an awesome job. Uh, in case he catches the, um, the 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 recording at some point, uh, he did an amazing job. Grass Pants uh, took us up. To 
to like number eight uh, or ninth on our server cluster for rating content uh, for progression. Uh, he uh, helped found the striker team, which is a, a really cool way of embracing the community rules, uh, as well as you know entering into a little bit more of a hardcore experience that uh, really requires something that it might kind of sound like, whoa, those, that's the elitist, but they uh, built it in such a way that they always give back uh, to the rest of the chapter. That that means running them through dungeons, using that gear that they got with the swarm to, to help the new members. And at theory, it's an amazing concept, and uh, he did a great job bringing that and leading us up to victory uh, on the server side. Um, with that, when him stepping away for a while, it's okay. We have new, our newest, one of our newest Vice Dungeon Lords, Memphis. Uh, welcome him to the Dungeon Lord team. Uh, he is just one of those guys who will just slave every day to do any kind of content you want to do. Uh, whether it be going back and doing old raids or uh, doing the weekly events, Memphis is awesome. And he and Armida are doing an amazing job uh, with taking on the uh, the raid side of the content and uh, that, that Dungeon Lord team. So uh, together they are really neat. They're almost like a little talk show host. I can't wait to get a new, new greatest uh, uh, media manager to record them because uh, they are really are cool uh, to check out and listen to. And uh, I don't know if you've ever seen a WoW uh, dungeon raid. It, it, it can be a little, um, you know, you know, militant as far as the way we command, but it has such an amazing feel. Uh, it's still super positive, and uh, uh, we, we even had somebody uh, say that we had a really stressful raid, and someone else checked it out and watched it, uh, and was like, "That's a stressful raid! Oh my gosh! You know that that's a that's not a stressful raid. That's that's an awesome uh, well stream machine." So Armida, thank you, Memphis, awesome. You guys rock. <laughs> you guys really do. So thank you, Hell Swarm. Uh, so we could definitely use more uh, more raiders, and we have uh, that uh, set up uh, on Open Raid now. So if you guys are ever interested, uh, come check us out. Monday, Tuesday nights, kind of our hardcore raid experience. So if you haven't had one of those in a while. Uh, do check it out. Uh, next guy who's doing an awesome job, just continues to do an awesome job all year long uh, since we found it is J-Man who rocks out PvP uh, every Friday, Saturday night. So if you're looking for something, you know, WoW has one of the most solid PvP games out there. Uh, it's been around so long. They've, there's a lot of exciting stuff, but he has definitely got to check out. Uh, there's more cross-server cross, cross uh, server stuff going on with PvP now, so there's a little bit more things that we can do together. Uh, but do check him out. Jay, awesome job, bro. Hail Swarm. And I got I to gotta give a huge, huge shout-out to uh, Sai, who's just, oh, gosh, uh, not only is she my wife, but believe me, she treats you guys way better than she treats everybody else in the world. Uh, she slaves over this uh, chapter. <laughs> she does. She really does. But <laughs> Sometimes I'm not sure whether I'm married to her or the swarm, but you know it's one of the two. Uh, but she is an amazing person. Uh, God, without us, I know Sweet and Easy is going to miss her uh, leading out there, and she's even been doing a great job with uh, you know giving him daily information too. So that's been super cool. Sorry, we couldn't live without you, girl. And uh, Core Red, big shout out to our lieutenant. He's always doing. Man, he does anything, and he's and the the poor guy lives you know in a crazy time zone that's way uh, ahead of ours and he still just stays up to 3 o'clock in the morning doing stuff with us uh, and then gets up two, three hours later. So thank you, Corred. You guys rock. Hail Swarm. Hail Swarm. Hail Swarm. Hail Swarm. So again, if you've been looking to take on more responsibility too with the Swarm and you want to grow and lead with us, man, uh, we have some great leaders still. Great development for everybody. So uh, come, come check us out, man, on WoW. Um, if you've been gone for a while, just to let you know, and I won't go through a big long spiel. Uh, I mean, it's out there, right? You guys are seeing all the advertisement for it. But you know, we are headed towards a new and awesome and crazy, incredible Legion X pack uh, that I have a couple alpha testers right now uh, in our chapter. Uh, they're just kind of just getting us exciting information as far as how amazing the game is. It's going to be totally different. Uh, as far as it looks like they're kind of maybe heading a little bit towards the action style combat. Uh, so something to kind of compete with the big boys that are coming out now and improving their graphics and so many awesome things. Uh, basically, a couple guys have told me you wouldn't even recognize an angel. Your mind is going to be blown. Uh, so definitely uh, check it out, man, what they have. Um, and, and dude, 
we also we just add support. We don't have you know we're not super active in any of the other games you know primarily, uh, but we do support and have a lot of members. Uh, who are playing uh, the other Blizzard games, such as Diablo. It just got a huge overhaul. StarCraft has an upcoming X-Pack. Hearthstone, I mean, that is like the most popular card battle game in the world right now, right? I mean, it's so amazing. Uh, you have Heroes of the Storm, which is like so much more friendly than League of Legends or <laughs> Dota will ever be. And it also gives you that MOBA style with a true arcane-like uh, experience. Uh, and then if you're down with the Team Fortress action, you love that. We got Overwatch coming this year, uh, which I also heard is mind-blowingly incredible. So, uh, you guys, uh, if you get bored and you want somewhere to hang out and play your Blizzard games, come hang out in the WoW lobby. Uh, you never know; there's probably somebody there that would like to rock it out with you in your game of choice. So, uh, we're always here. Uh, we'd love to have more of you. Uh, love you guys. Love the swarm. Love everything about it. Hell swarm. Hail Swarm. Hail Swarm. Awesome. Thanks, Angel, for all the hard work you guys are, get, are doing. And uh, really some amazing stuff coming down the road over there. And yeah, I'm looking forward to Overwatch as well. So uh, I've seen nothing but amazing stuff. So um, really great job, you guys. And uh, moving on to our next and uh, newest primary chapter. Uh, big shout out and big thanks to uh, Kalia for all the hard work. So I'd like to uh, turn it over to her for a Final Fantasy update. Thank you, uh, for Venomin. Hail Swarm! Hail Swarm. You didn't hear me. I said, I can't sound like him, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> but I love <laughs> All right. And, and thank you, for Venom and everybody. Um, we've been working at this, uh, trying to get back to being a primary chapter for a while. Actually, um, the Final Fantasy chapter is almost two and a half years old. Uh, the game Final Fantasy XIV has been out since August of 2013. Um, I did not start out as the chapter um, lord of that chapter. Um, uh, I had the privilege of working under uh, King Zatson as the uh, Herald Prime there before I uh, took uh, more work, I guess you'd say. <laughs> But anyway, I am just so happy and so proud for all of us in um, the Final Fantasy chapter. Because it's not me. It's all of us together. It's a team. I am so not about me. All right? And uh, I think the people in the, in the Final Fantasy chapter know that. Because uh, we're a group together. We make... We make a lot of decisions together. We we vote on things. Um, it's not a top-down management style, I guess you'd say, uh, so much, unless it has to be. I like people to have a voice in what's going on. But anyway, um, getting to to uh, Final Fantasy self, what, what can we say? It just keeps getting bigger and better with more and more to do. Uh, we recently had the 3.1 patch, which they called As Goes Light, So Goes Darkness, and that arrived on November 11th. That patch included another 24-man dungeon, which is called the Void Arc. It's a ghost ship filled with evil power that was created long ago by mages who were trying to run away from the cataclysm which was rapidly catching up with them. There's treasure to be had for all those brave enough to confront the evil within those what might have been empty virons, but are certainly not. Um, then they introduced, that's a 24-man dungeon, as I said. Then, th then they introduced a couple of eight-man raid dungeons. Um, though the first is St. Uh, Machian's Arboretum. Uh, it once housed the greatest collection of flora and fauna that the realm had ever known. However, it was abandoned many years ago following the exodus. Now, you all... All of you that have played any of the Final Fantasy games know how heavy the stories and the storylines are in these games. It's, it is what one of the things that Square Enix is known for. Um, the story in this game is just amazing. It makes you laugh. Parts of it makes you laugh. Parts of it makes you feel like crying. Parts of you, parts of it makes you feel like some awesome, I don't know, demigod or something you know <laughs> but um it's 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 truly amazing and so um 
This uh, arboretum was once the greatest collection, as I said. It was aban This arboretum was abandoned many, many years ago um, when all the trouble ensued. Actually, uh, after the exodus, nobody was there taking care of it anymore. And so what happened with that is all of the life that was there, the beasts, the plants, everything just went totally nuts. And... Um, when you go in there, you never know when whatever beast or plant or something is going to come up and attack you. Uh, but rumor has it, there are great treasures awaiting those who are willing to take their lives in their hands in the depths of the Arboretum. Next, we had another eight-man dungeon called Pharaoh Sirius. It's actually a dungeon that was not a favorite for anyone in its first incarnation, but it has come back uh, as a hard-mode dungeon. Um, and Pharaoh Fancy has done this a lot with their upper-level dungeons, and that is they bring out one version of it, and then later on they come out with a hard mode that is indeed quite a lot harder than the first one was. You have to work harder to conquer them. Um, but Pharaoh Sirius, they did a really good job with this next incarnation. Um, it's actually a lighthouse that was under, is under reconstruction. And, well, that is at least until an order of kobolds forced all the workers out. Now, um, the Maelstrom, which is one of the factions in Final Fantasy, was planning to retake the tower and rebuild really rapidly because, you see, we have a problem. The kobolds love explosives. They love the sound of that boom, and they love blowing things up. And needless to say, if they don't get back there and get that cleaned out and get those kobolds out of there, they're probably going to be entirely building the, this uh, tower all over again because the kobolds are working on their bombs. Uh, finally, we got exploratory missions, which are really pretty interesting. This place is called the Diadem, and it's basically a whole bunch of islands of various sizes in the sky. There's a whole treasure trove of natural resources to be harvested there, which means that you can take in your gathering folks, you know, the ones who are miners and botanists and things like that in this game that harvest raw materials. And so um, they're also, of course, very treacherous naturally. Um, and there are all kinds of otherworldly monsters that roam freely. And we've even been killing dinosaurs there. So, uh, yeah, it goes, obviously, they've been around a long time. Finally, there's something called the Minstrel's Ballad, Thoradin's Reign. It's a new trial, and it harkens back to the Final Fantasy storyline about uh, the confrontation between uh, Archbishop Thoradin and all of his knights, and we head back in there to get rid of them finally, we hope. There's also uh, new strategy games in the Golden Saucer, which is kind of their, their mini-game area. It's called Lord of Verminion. Yeah, just like it sounds. We have lots of adorable minions in Final Fantasy. And in this particular game, it, like I said, it's a strategy game, but the, but the minions become fierce warriors. And uh, people are having quite a bit of fun with that game. They've, they, there's some more mini games that have been introduced and stuff, but I, I don't want to prolong all of this uh, so much. Um, all I'm trying to do is for those of you who are um, growing tired of maybe the game that you're playing or you're not playing anything at all right now, um, that you might come and check out Final Fantasy. Yes, it is a subscription game. It's uh, $15 a month. There are a few things that can be bought in the, in the uh, st online store, but they're, they're more along the lines of extra stuff you don't need. It's like, oh yeah, I'd like that little minion there, or I'd like a different mount, or I'd like... None of them have anything to do with your actual success within the game. Uh, they're all the, they're all the uh, fun. So, anyway, also some of you might have noticed that uh, we, uh, Pyrian had posted a, a thread that has pictures of our, of our estate, the, the chapter estate in Final Fantasy. We have done a complete update of that house in the last couple of months, inside and out. The inside has all kinds of new stuff in it, new furniture, new, new pictures, new stuff. We've got all kinds of instruments. There's just a lot of stuff there. But just most recently, we've updated the outside of the house uh, to what they call, um, it's basically a, a workshop theme. Um, and part of the reason for that is you cannot, you cannot create this exterior unless you have a company workshop. 
that's all the place, also the place where we have built our four um, airships that we use and send out on missions and they bring back all kinds of stuff. But lately, one of the really interesting things that's happened there is we are able actually to group up as the swarm and take one of our own airships out to uh, the diadem, which I mentioned had exploratory missions. And so we take our ship out there and we disembark and we take off exploring different islands, finding different monsters, finding a lot of different materials that gatherers can pick up. Um, it's fun. Not to be outdone by, you know, all of the other people who have been talking about how wonderful their chapters are and how wonderful their games are. And of course, I'm going to stand right up there with the rest of them and say, Final Fantasy and the Final Fantasy chapter are awesome too. I don't have to make it real loud. I don't have to be really boisterous because fact is fact. We're wonderful. <laughs> I hope that makes you chuckle a little anyway. But uh, anyway, I have a great bunch of officers also um, that are part of, part of the team. Um, I, I'm kind of looking around to see uh, who's in here. Sato, who is uh, my lieutenant. Um, Stellanus, Killer B. Stellanus, who is our, our hero prime there and my right hand. Um, we've also got um, Blood Brother, who still is doing the most awesome screenshots. I don't know how he does those, but I sure hope that you guys sometimes take a, a little time on the forums and come in and look at some of the screenshots in our screenshot threads. He does most of them and they are just amazing. Um, he gets to places I've never seen in the game, let's put it that way. <laughs> Maybe the only way I'll ever see him is looking at his screenshot. I'm looking here. Did I forget any of you guys that are here at the meeting? I hope not. You're all wonderful. We're a team. I thank you ever so much, each and every one of you. You and all the rest of our members are the reasons that we finally managed to get back up to being a prime chapter. Thank you so ever much. And hail swarm. Hail swarm. Hail swarm. Thank you, Kalia. And yeah, just like you mentioned, really, um, it's all about the team. That's that's the whole reason we started this community. I mean, that's that's what it's all about, and the whole reason we have kind of the bees for our theme because um, that's how the bees operate. They're they're not about you know elitism or you know they're the most special bee. It's all about hey, what's best for the hive? How can we um, help our team the most? And and that's what we're all about as a community. So um, really appreciate everybody and, and appreciate again all the support on that um, you know kind of uh, idealism that, that we've uh, been focused on and um, something that we believe in strongly and um, can't thank you all enough for, for being a part of that and, and and going along with that because you know there's I think a lot of places you know in guilds and, and other people out there they, they just have a different mindset as like hey it's me 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 what can I get for myself and not about like hey how can I help my team how can I help the community and again I think that's something that separates us and and helps us stand out um, you know apart from the rest so uh, really big thanks to all you guys and your hard work on that so um, going to turn it over to our newest official chapter Blade and Soul sweet and easy you're up all right uh, thank you so much uh, Emperor Venom and uh, Hell Swarm everybody all right, so as Venom said earlier, I get the honor and pleasure of not only introducing the newest official chapter, um, which I'm sure someday will be a prime, but a game that we've been waiting for um, and keeping our eye on for a long time since I, Venom's original post on December 10th, 2009. Uh, that's right, for six years. Uh, um, that game, of course, was Blade and Soul, and um, it is coming. It is live on January 19th and has an early release of January 15th for purchasers of the Founders Pack. Uh, for more info on what's in those Founders Packs, um, feel free to check out bladeandsoul.com in the top right corner there. there's um, It's a free-to-play game, uh, but there are some benefits, of course, if you are a premium member. Um, and uh, it, it gives you things inside the game, such as costuming or... Um, Coin, so there's different things, discounts that you can get for for you know different um, items in game that will help with um, you know your your looks and and uh, a lot of you know things that are not gear related that is not going to give you an advantage. So just like with uh, what Kali was saying with Final Fantasy, it's more cosmetics and having fun. Um, I know you're probably thinking though and wondering, um, 16, or, sorry, six years. 
um, you know, is the game even current? Is it even good? Uh, my answer, heck yes it is. Uh, Blade, Blade & Soul ceases to amaze its current members. Uh, plenty of people have played the game in other regions. Um, started over in Korea and um, they are purchasing the NA packs and are still loving it. There's a lot of forums that go on and on about how great the game is. A lot of vids, videos still out there you can check out on YouTube. Uh, the game is an epic battle of course between light versus dark as always uh, with two political factions constantly battling throughout the middle of it. Um, a brief intro is given on the site that I'll share with you. Um, is that you're starting as a promising student of the Hong Moon School. You train your skills in peace. However, when the wicked Jin Soyeon arrives to slaughter your fellow students and beloved master in search for the Twilight's Edge, that's when your story truly begins. Uh, rise in power, seek vengeance, and stop Jin Soyeon's plan to unleash the forces of the Dark Realm upon the world. Uh, Blade and Soul is an amazingly beautiful game with eye-catching backgrounds, detailed costumes, characters, and monsters. Not only is it an action-based combat game, but it tests your skills with combos, attacks, and dodging. Especially great for those PvP-loving folks. Uh, the martial arts inspired combat is fast and fun, whether you're hitting PvP events in open world, doing 1 versus 1 or 3 versus 3 arenas. Um, the arenas are, use a real-time battle system in third-party view, giving the players the ability to plan their attacks and combos just like those fighting games that you love to play on consoles. Uh, there's always new costumes being released with over 200 different outfits, approximately 130 in the uh, NA beta patch. Um, In-depth character customization, four solid races to choose from, seven distinct classes to pick from, uh, with more to release in the future. And crafting that brings clan members together with the clan workshops, where you can craft materials, potions, and even work together to build a fully customizable and unique faction costume. Uh, this game does not disappoint. Um, the chapter's current goals are recruitment, um, bringing more people into our chapter and swarm family, leveling quickly as a group, um, and most, most importantly, having fun. We have been fortunate in recruiting a solid amount of amazing people to join our Swarm family. We work together in leveling quests, dungeons, and arenas. In the downtime, we PvP in arenas or entering the sparring arena to practice our skills against each other in our different classes and specs. Uh, once Blade and Soul launches, it will be a free-to-play game, as I said. Um, but it is uh, definitely not play to win. It is nothing short of amazing. We do have some beta keys available that some of the, the leaders have been able to obtain. And if you're looking to check it out um, and want to test the game before you truly commit, let us know. Um, lastly, I'll say um, that it, I've been lucky to have a great leadership team supporting me um, and amazing members that we found in this chapter. Of course, um, you know, Ant and I, as the Overlord and Vice Lord, um, have had a great time with WoW. And, and as Angel said, we miss you guys too and, um, and everything that you and Sai and the rest of that WoW team did. And, um, this is almost like a mirror of it. We just have a great leadership team um, in place and amazing members just like in WoW. So I'd like to thank Vice Lord Ant, uh, Harold Sente, uh, Warlord Dracula, and Quartermaster Zypher, and Media Manager Merlick for all that you have done so far. We still have some work to do. We hit the ground running here next month. Um, Additionally, to all the Blade & Soul members that have made this experience uh, great, amazing, fun. Uh, I know we have a lot of them here, Force Master, Kapunis. Uh, we have some of those that aren't here. Uh, Misaki, Tsunami, um, you know, there's too many to name, Romzo, Romo, there's just so many. Uh, I'm so thankful. Um, we, you know, we have a fun and uh, a great time. And I would encourage any of those members who are yeah, not playing Blade & Soul to give it a shot. Come join us in Vent or on game. Yeah, we'll get you an invite and uh, have some fun. So thank you so much and Hail Swarm. Hail Swarm. Hail Swarm. Awesome. Thank you, sir. And really appreciate you guys kind of kicking off Blade & Soul. It's been amazing. And like you said, it's been years and years that uh, we've been kind of having our eye on that one. And so uh, really fantastic stuff. Great to see it finally being realized. And um, speaking of which, um, Black Desert, as we uh, kind of discussed earlier, um, is another game that's uh, going to be coming out soon. Um, I'm imagining that will probably go official, um, if at the very least casual. But um, I think there's a lot of people kind of behind that game as well. Um, the combat system is very, you know, action-based. Um, graphics are amazing. <coughs> Character customization is also incredible. 
it's um it's got a lot going for it and i know a lot of us checked it out on the korean uh version already um but for those of you that haven't um by all means check out the website um the uh north american released uh closed beta test one is starting next week so um the pre-orders are available now and um, it's almost identical to uh, Blade and Soul, how they did their uh, pre-orders, how you can kind of gauge which level you want to go to, and that will determine kind of the bonuses along with it, um, at which point you want to start on the game. So. Um, if you're interested, um, definitely check it out. We're looking to kind of build our uh, command team for um, Black Desert as well and uh, seeing how much interest we have at a community level to see where that will um, kind of factor its way into our Swarm legacy. Um, so, and again, I've played it. I plan to play it uh, on release as well. Um, and I, uh, I can't, you know, speak enough about um, how amazing the combat system is. Um, it's, it's one of the best that I've played, um, and something that uh, I definitely, um, you know, am interested in. And I'm, I'm probably more um, skewed towards the action-based combat as like the the Terras and the uh, Blade and Souls, um, myself and uh, Black Desert really. Um, has focused a lot of attention uh, in that regard. So, um, you know, speaking on that, I can definitely appreciate that and um, all that they've done. So, really looking forward to that and um, hope to see, you know, more um, swarmers interested in uh, jumping in on, on that action as well. So, um, really looking forward to uh, all the exciting chapters and, and watching um, all across the board um, the amazing stuff that we've done. Um, over this past year of 2015, looking towards um, 2016 with some new and amazing chapters opening up or moving up through our um, uh, system and, and seeing more participation through the community. So um, really big shout out and th can't thank you all. And I mean, none of this would be possible without all you guys kind of making the magic happen and supporting um, everything that we do here. So cannot thank you all enough for everything that you guys have been doing and and um, being a part of the amazing 16 plus year legacy that we know as the Sinister Swarm. So thank you all and a big Hail Swarm! Hail Swarm! Hail Swarm! Awesome guys, thank you all. And um, so also a reminder. Um, uh, just make sure everybody is in the chat. Just uh, click the chat button in case um, you haven't logged into our uh, Ventrilo chat yet. We'll be looking there for um, raises and stuff um, when we open the meeting up in moments. Um, we also have a couple other announcements. Um, first of all, I would like to just again remind everybody, super looking forward to next week, basically a week from today. Um, we're getting together for our next Swarm meet and greet for uh, the Star Wars Force Awakens movie that has been 30 years in the making. Um, and uh, really, really, I'm personally excited for that and uh, looking forward to uh, uh, hooking up with a bunch of uh, friendly Swarm faces um, for that. I mean, uh, I'm probably going to camp out in the line so we make sure that we uh, have some seats available for that. So it's going to be a long day for sure, but... Um, I think one that uh, will definitely live on in, in Swarm history, and I'm sure we'll have uh, lots of pictures and, and fun and exciting stuff uh, to post for that. So thanks to everybody that has already um, signed on for that. And if anybody is still interested, we might have a couple, a few tickets available, but um, it's very limited. So um, we need to know ASAP. So if anybody's in the area or plans on being in the area, um, this is, again, Bay Area, California, that we'll be um, attending um, next week. So uh, if anybody's interested, let me know. If you can, email me at Venom at SinisterSwarm.com as soon as possible um, so I can uh, just see if we have anything that is still available. We're, I know there was. Um, we're running super low, but we might um, still be able to work something if there are uh, one or two people that are still interested. So just want to let everybody know about that. Um, and again, uh, if anybody's ever been to one of our Swarm meet and greets, it's uh, an amazing experience. It's so great. Like, um, 
obviously we're such we have such an amazing family here and we work together so well um like really it's something special that we have here it's something that i have not seen anywhere else and um something that just feels so good to be a part of um but when you actually get together and and hook up on our meet and greets and and meet everybody in person and go out and do stuff or whatever it's like it's taking it to that next level and and it's it's weird because you would think like hey you know maybe it's awkward or we don't know these people but for some reason it just feels so natural and and it's it's just a seamless experience and i think myself and anybody that's been a part of it um can attest to how amazing they are and how comfortable we all feel together um, just from the time that we've shared together, you know, here, just being a part of the swarm, um, to go hang out in real life just, it feels like just such an, uh, you know, a logical extension of that, so um, thanks to everybody who's been a part of those and looking forward very much to uh, next week when we uh, get our next one in there, so um, thank you all for that and um Moving on to uh, some medals and recognition, um, we also want to take the opportunity to kind of recognize folks for um, all that they do within the community. Um, we have so much that um, everybody's working so hard on so many different levels, and um, you know we we like to recognize that, um, and, and that's something that I think most people are just like, hey, you know, we're working tirelessly, and our reward is like helping the team and and being a part of the community, which is great, but. Um, at the same time, we do want to spend a little bit of time to acknowledge folks for um, all that they're doing. Um, so let me start off with a couple awards. We were talking about this in the beginning of the meeting, actually, with the orientations. Um, that's such an important part of um, what we do here. Um, and uh, as such, we have we have a specific award for it. Um, and what we're probably considering doing at this point, at least, is um, maybe even adding more ink to the award. Right now we have three levels at 30, 60, and 100. And what we're probably going to do is maybe add some more, some additional increments so that we can um, acknowledge um, people that maybe haven't quite reached 30 or somewhere between 60 and 100 or whatever, um, just so that we can have um, more opportunity to acknowledge people that are really working hard to kind of, um, you know, keep the Swarm legacy alive, which, again, is, is, is huge for every one of us. So... Um, I would like to, at this time, acknowledge somebody for our bronze gatekeeper award. And again, this is for 30 orientations, um, which, you know, you think about it, an orientation, generally they're going to run probably close to 30 minutes. If you can really streamline it, maybe you can cut it down to 15. Um, but it's it's a lot of time invested um, to accomplish 30 orientations. So I would like to congratulate our newest bronze Gatekeeper Award. Thank you. Sweet and easy. Congratulations. 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 Congrats. Nice to <laughs> Awesome job, brother. And uh, moving down that chain and uh, into the start getting into the 100 orientation bracket. And I think we can all do the math um, on the amount of time invested in that. Um, it's, again, a huge, huge endeavor for uh, for the individual and such a big help for all of us to make sure that you know people we're bringing in are a good fit and are you know not going to rub any of us the wrong way and we're going to feel comfortable like they're just you know an added member to our family. Um, it's a huge huge um, effort and I'd like to congratulate and thank. Um, the following individuals for achieving that 100 orientation mark. Congratulations to our newest Golden Gatekeepers, Kalia and Sianna. Congratulations. Congratulations. Way to go. Congrats. You rock. Heck yes, and um, again, that's just, it's such a big accomplishment, so much work, and um, such a huge benefit for the entire community, so um, really from uh, from all of us to, to you guys, uh, cannot thank you enough for, for all that you do, so big hail swarm! Hail swarm! Hail swarm! Hail swarm! Awesome, and um, 
So also, uh, in addition to awards, um, we have here also is, as everybody knows, um, we kind of break our um, recognition system down into um, uh, a few different categories. We have um, awards, which are kind of the way to recognize um, various accomplishments that people have done, whether it's gatekeeping or you know um, being participating in multiple chapters. Um, there, if you go to sinisterswarm.com/ranks, uh, um, you can see the long list of. Um, Basically, it's the community um, kind of diagram. It gives a list, which is a little bit outdated. I'll admit, uh, we have to do some updating on it. But generally, it will it will have the latest um, diagram as far as like what our title holders are for specific chapters. Um, and as you scroll down, it'll also show like, hey, these are kind of what um, uh, what we acknowledge as far as uh, de- various levels of awards within the community and some of those are gatekeepers founding, um, being a part of a chapter from the beginning and helping build that um, is really important so we want to recognize that um, uh, you know, uh, number of posts on forums, there's just a ton of stuff there and um, I definitely encourage everybody to kind of take a look and be familiar with that page just to kind of get an idea of like, oh, okay, these are, you know, some of the achievements that um, can be accomplished. So awards, that's that's one of the elements. Titles, um, that's specifically related to chapters. So with titles, um, that's something generally the chapter lords will be responsible for um, kind of determining who within their chapter is going to be um, eligible for specific um, responsibilities within their chapter. So um, that'll mean uh, people kind of, um, you know, taking on whether it's herald duties or warlord duties or whatever the case may be. And if you're interested and you're like, hey, you know what, I I really love to get out there and run dungeons, talk to your chapter lords. Um, They'll be the ones that kind of drive that and they'll let us know um, at a higher community level, like, hey, this person's going to be, you know, our next uh, warlord or dungeon lord or whatever, and we'll be able to kind of make sure that all that information is updated um, on a community level so everybody's aware of that. So that's another format is titles. And then the third format, awards, titles, and then ranks. Ranks is probably something that people are maybe most familiar with. It's something that's easily recognizable on Ventrilo. Obviously, everybody here sees a rank next to their name, and that kind of uh, represents um, where they're at on a community level as far as um, their responsibility and contributions go. Um, So when it comes to um, ranks, obviously, newbie is is kind of, you know, the starting off rank it's where you know people are just getting introduced it's more of like a prospect it's our time to get to know somebody and allow them to get to know us and see if this is a good fit um worker bees are kind of like the people that have already you know made that and like hey this is going to be a good fit they're working up soldier bee is a rank where people can start to really embrace um, added responsibilities within the community and start stepping up to the plate, taking on titles um, and being more involved um, at various levels. So um, Soldier B is a really important rank. Um, Moving up from there, we break it into the KBK bracket. Um, That's where Killer Bees and Knights um, come in. They're responsible, like we were talking about, primarily for a lot of orientations, leading groups, taking um, kind of that mid-level management throughout the community and then up from there is the Swarm Lords and the Swarm Lords starting at Baron moving up through Duchess and Duke um, Kings and Queens um uh, those are the individuals that kind of help guide kind of the overall direction of the community. And so um, uh, all that is kind of really important to be aware of and something that we also take seriously um, at a higher level and make sure that, you know, when we're looking at people for taking on added responsibility, it's something for one that they're going to they're gonna want to do and have the time for because it's, it's a lot of work. It's definitely a lot of effort involved. I'll, I'll always quote, you know, Queen Fate. I think she says it best when, you know, the higher you go up, the more work you do for the less recognition. And um, it's so true. And it's really kind of um, the the, uh, mentality that we've embraced as a community. Um, And I would like to acknowledge um, somebody uh, at this point, too, kind of that we've all felt is ready to kind of take on this higher level of responsibility within the community. Um, moving on to the Swarm Lord bracket. 
this is somebody that um, we felt has done an amazing job um, throughout uh, their time uh, within the community, always proven, um, been able to step up to the plate on whatever has been asked and even, you know, many times doing what hasn't been asked. And, um, you know, uh, these are all, you know, kind of elements that we really, really appreciate uh, as well as just always kind of having that sense of duty and, um, uh, you know, always wanting to um, contribute at a higher level and, and and kind of having that sense of like, hey, what can I do to help the community knowing and understanding like it's all about being a part of a team and contributing at that team level um, because again that's something that really it's it's at the heart of, of what we're doing here and something that's that's really seriously important to us um, so uh, again this individual has has definitely demonstrated that on a variety of levels and throughout and even here tonight um, at our meeting here tonight um, I think uh, clearly kind of illustrated uh, some of that mentality so um, without further ado I would like to congratulate our newest Sinister Swarm Baroness Kalia <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> congrats, Claire. Congrats, Claire. Woo! Nice, congrats. Oh, thank you. Thank I don't you. know whether... Speed, speed! I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I gotta say it's something, like right? It yeah. is. And, and you know what? I'll tell you guys all a secret. Venom loves playing Santa. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> Huh? Hey yo! Hey yo, Swan! He keeps uh, okay. a lot of things close to his chest. I think he doesn't tell people things. I do like surprises. Just like Santa. <laughs> Indeed. Watching people's faces. <laughs> exactly. Or at least imagining. Yeah. Thank you so much. No, no, thank you. And again, awesome to everybody. Thank you all for being here at our grand season finale. And really appreciate everybody for um, being a part and contributing to our Swarm Raffle. We're going to actually break off. Um, we're going to be, we got a, a few things, I think, going on that will kind of get started right now. Um, one of which, our Team Fortress Classic, kind of um, getting back to our um, original uh, roots and uh, TFC and... Um, We'll be uh, jumping into that as well as um, we want to do some feel-good stories. Um, we have uh, some, I think, some folks lined up ready for some feel-good stories. And um, also we're going to get the raffle started. So um, we, uh, oh, and it looks like we do have a late update from ESO. So um, before we move on to all that fun stuff, let's get a quick update from Bacon's Wife with ESO. Hey guys, um, this, this is Ruth from Elder Scrolls Online, um, Bacon's Wife from Mrs. B. I've never done this before, so bear with me. Um, some new updates, we have Orsinium now, which is Rothgar 2, and then of course we have Imperial City, which you do need to buy those or get the monthly subscription, which also gives you crown points, which can give you, uh, you can buy a bunch of really cool stuff, but otherwise than that, ESO is free to play. And it is a lot of fun. We have a growing chapter, and Splint is not sure is our leader. He's not here tonight. Um, and I'm actually on it right now with two of our members, Shimano and Gilgad. He's one of our newer ones. But I am so excited to be a part of this. Um, we do have a free weekend um, that you can come and try it out. Um, but... Um, we do have a lot of new sets in the, um, uh, it's v, you can go up to V60 now, and there are a ton of new sets for armor, and, um, there's the new Maelstrom Arena, which is kind of like Dragon's Arena, which Dragon's Arena is a four-person, um, arena fight, it is PvE, and Maelstrom is actually like all of the... Um, pledge bosses or the um, main bosses, sorry, I'm not very good at this, um, 
that you can fight on your own for V16 gear. So that's really cool. Um, we also have um, just a really great yeah, group. Um, we're blessed. We always have people to play with, and um, we always enjoy it, and we always have a lot of fun. Come and check us out. Um, there's always someone on. Kitty is usually on, but I, she is not on. She is in Germany, so she's probably in bed, but come check us out in ESO. We have a lot of new updates, and there's always someone fun. So, hell swarm. Hell swarm. Hell swarm. Hell swarm. Uh, thank you very much for that. And now um, we'll start our some of our feel good updates. And again, if anybody has any other um, stories that they would like to share, please um, post it up in chat. But we got a couple of people lined up really quickly. So we'll start off with uh, Despone. Um, for our first Swarm Feel Good story. And while that's going on, um, we'll also be starting the raffle. So if we can get some links posted up um, for the raffles so we can also start um, watching that real time. But what do you want in the raffle? Um, we're, I, we've about closed it off. If you want to get in a, a raffle ticket purchase, like jump on the main site right now and you might be able to squeeze one last purchase in but um, essentially what it is is, is that um, it's an opportunity to uh, get, you know give a little bit back for the community as far as what we're you know putting out um, on a yearly basis and we're um, uh, doing pretty good I'd say almost uh, a little bit over halfway um, kind of our um, expenditures uh, when it comes to our uh, you know forums and ventrilo and and the the cost of running the community and um, what we like to do is have the raffles where people donate stuff and um, you purchase a raffle ticket and then uh, you get in a chance to uh, win win something in return as well as helping out the community so it's what we like to call a win-win cool Okay, so, uh, type, type them fast as I can. <laughs> awesome, bro. Uh, just look at your PM uh, while I'm doing that, Venom. Alan, I copied your comment, Uriel, and posted it in the chat, but that is not the Swarm Twitch. I don't know what that is. It's League of Legends something. Let me look. Beekeepers to award. Sweden DC. Angel Hawk Bronze. Yeah, the WWW does want to work. Use HTTP. Should fix it. The problem. Yeah, Taz has got it, and it is in the in the Nylon Media URL. It's not in my personal. Yeah, Twitch routes you sometimes to their main page if you for new newer ones. I have a question uh, yeah, regarding oh. the raffle. Go ahead, sir. Uh, just I'm trying to get mine in right now, and I didn't log in before I did the link for the tickets here. Can I just put my uh, handle in the special instructions so everybody knows it's for me? Perfect. All right. Also, All right, while um, we're getting that online, um, would like to announce a couple more awards that have uh, we have slipped in here. Um, so um, the Busy Bee Award, that's something that we um, like to recognize. People have been um, stepping up and participating in multiple chapters. Uh, a lot of us, we come in, you know, through one game or whatever, and um, get, you know, kind of locked into that, but as everybody knows, we're, you know, multi-gaming, we have a lot of different, you know, uh, opportunities within the community to be a part of uh, other chapters and, you know, hang out with other swarmers that we may not know otherwise, so um, it's definitely something that we encourage as far as cross-pollinating and, and just participating around um, other chapters within the community, so I would like to congratulate the following individuals for earning the Bronze Busy Bee Award. Congratulations to our storm and dead man congratulations wow congratulations yes yes 
also, um, similar to the Busy Bee Award, we have the uh, Beekeeper Award. And this is something that we um, grant for people that have um, not only been a part of other chapters, but have actually really stepped up and helped take a leadership role within um, other chapters and take on um, a titleship and, you know, whether it's Herald or Warlord or whatever the case may be, um, really help participate at that level and, um, you know, offer, you know, their time again to help the team, to help the community. So I'd like to congratulate the following people on the Bronze Beekeeper Award, Sweet and Easy and Angel Hawk. Congratulations. Awesome, guys. And um, I think most people should have our Team Fortress server information. Let me um, try to get it in my comment as well. Um, it's uh, the title of the server is Sinister 16th Year Birthday. Um, and the password is SIN15. And I have the IP now uh, posted in my comment. So as people want to uh, start uh, jumping on there, and um, let's see, uh, Despoin, uh, if you're able and are willing, um, let's start kicking off with some feel-good stories. Sure, no problem. Um, uh, my my name is uh, Despoin. I'm kind of a little tongue-tied because I wasn't expecting this tonight, but um, I've been playing MMOs for several years now and I've always looked for somewhere that you know people would be friendly you know helpful welcoming and uh, I've been so severely disappointed with so many different groups and and guilds that I've, that I've joined over the years that um, I pretty much had given up and my brother-in-law Rice he kinda nagged me for about three months to just check out the the website for the Sinister Swarm, and um, once I I broke down and finally checked it out, I, I found that uh, the goals and the rules and basically everything that I read just really spoke to my heart. And I put my application in right away and had my orientation, and I started with uh, Guild Wars 2, and I found myself engulfed in such a feeling of family and just coming home. You know, I found that everyone was so fun and helpful. You know, even when folks aren't feeling so good, you know, they they still do whatever they can to help everyone else. And it's like I, I finally found what I was looking for. And um, just want to say I, I plan on staying here for the rest of my gaming days. And it's just been it, it's been an amazing experience. I've I've found friends here that. I wouldn't mind keeping them for the rest of my life. And I think that that's pretty much the experience that most people will have when they when they come into the swarm. I just want to say thank you. Hell swarm. And wow, thank you. Really appreciate that. That's that's the type of experience that really uh, brings the fuel to our fire that's that's just uh, amazing and something that you know i think you know we're all you know volunteers to to hear and we're all passionate about um what we're doing here as a, as a community so it really i think helps motivate us all when we hear those type of experiences because it makes me it makes us all i think realize that hey we're doing the right thing and, and you know it's appreciated so uh big thanks to you big hail swan <laughs> Meow Swarm. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> and Tazmaster, I think you're up. Yes, I am. Well, I've actually been a member of the Swarm for about two and a half years now. And I've actually said after, say, the first six months I was a member, that this is my second family. Well, my family was my mom. And she passed in June. And so, y'all have become uh, my main family. So, um, and I recently lost my house and everything, and um, the uh, uh, the swarm has helped in saying that I've had quite a few offers to, for them to offer for me to come stay with them. Um, I'm actually 
probably going to be going to Michigan to live with a uh, fellow swarmer, um, the goat. Uh, he has offered to let me stay with him until I can get back on my feet and um, everything. And I just want to say that if it wasn't for the swarm half the time, um, I probably would not be the same person I am today, even though I'm not that same. But I just want to say thank you all and how swarm. Wow, thank you, brother. And again, really a touching story and uh, really appreciate that. And glad that um, our community could, you know, help your situation and, and hopefully uh, everybody, you know, enhance and, um, you know, bring bring something extra to everybody's um, gaming experience, if not life experience. So, uh, really thank you for that. And um, I'd like to open the floor to uh, anybody else who has any you know, feel-good stories or any thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, feedback, anything at all. Now's a great time to do it while we're um, getting a raffle rolling. Um, just do a slash raise in chat, and uh, we'll call on you next. And um, raffle also will be happening here in moments. And um, just getting Team Fortress uh, started as well. So, uh, Rain, you're up. Let's rock it. Hail Swarm. I want to thank each and every one of you. You've welcomed me and Kitty here. We've been here a little over a year now. We've been through a lot of toxic communities, and um, our last one, I will leave, remain nameless for reasons. But I, we, me and Kitty, uh, met up with Stravani up in Arca uh, Arcage um, when we were down on our luck we were about ready to throw in the towel on gaming communities completely um, but Stravani talked to us asked us to come over and visit y'all um, get to know y'all showed us the website even interviewed both of us um we came in, you all welcomed us with open arms as just part of the family, even though we didn't know you. Um, another brother welcome coming to the community. Um, I didn't just gain another family, I gained a bunch of friends, a mentor, uh, gained a, a lot of great experiences, and me and Kitty plan on staying here with this community until our gaming days are through, if not staying completely. So I want to thank each and every one of you. Thank you! Big house warm! Uh, Alyssa, I think you're up next. Alrighty. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Alyssa from the Guild Wars 2 chapter. Um, for those of you who, who don't know, I'm actually, I'm one of the, the younger ones in this form, actually. So I just recently, uh, a few months ago, I moved out of my parents' house and I have my own apartment now. And, you know, I had kind of taken a little break from you know, gaming, like in the spring, even though I had, you know, joined the swarm last fall, you know, cause I was having a hard time, but then, you know, over the summer, you know, I was like, you know what, I, you know, uh, going through some tough stuff right now, I'm going to kind of make sure that I go back to the swarm and have lots of fun with them. And you guys got me through the summer and you guys got me through kind of moving into my new apartment. Cause you know, moving to a place where I knew no one. And, you know, it was like, I got to take my friends with me. You know, I didn't have to feel like, you know, I was going to a new place hundreds of miles away from where I grew up, you know, being all by myself. And so I just wanted to thank all of you, whether I've only talked to you once or whether whether I talk to you every day, you know, you guys have been really, really great. And like so many other people have said, you know, you've, you've become like a second family and, you know, I, I really enjoy, you know, getting to, you know, log on every night and play with you guys. And, you know, I, I tell my family stories about you guys all the time. Like this person in my guild did this, or this person in my guild said that, or person in my, in my guild's having a baby, you know, whatever it happens to me, <laughs> they're used to hearing about you guys all the time. And I this one, wanted to say thank you to all you guys because you guys have been so great and big hell sore. Thank you and amen. That's what we're all about. That's awesome. Force Master, I think you're next. Hi. 
I'm recently new to the guild. Um, I started, I want to say, a month ago, or four, three weeks ago. Um, my experience with guilds were horrible. Um, toxic, and sweet and easy recruited me. I was just doing quests, he recruited, I'm like, hi. And thoughts, orientation, all that fun stuff. And it was fun. It's been fun PvPing with everyone, and can't wait to for the future with everyone. That's one. 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 I just wanted y'all to kind of take a minute and let's recognize Venom. Even though during his busy hours, long days at work, etc., he still takes time out for some of his swarmers, if not all of them. I know he's taken special time to help Brian with his schoolwork and things. And if it wasn't for Venom helping him, I don't believe that he would have succeeded as far as he has. So why don't we take a, a special moment and let's recognize our Emperor. You're too kind. You're too kind. Thank you so much. Glad to help, man. Anything I can do. It's you guys that really uh, are so special. So I can't thank you all enough for uh, doing what you do. Big Hail Swar. Come on, Venom. Just one Meow Swarm? I know you got to do <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're getting our uh, Team Fortress server populated, so uh, come on in, everybody, That uh, if you're able to. I've got the um, the raffle up. Um, when did you want to do that, Venom? Let's get it rolling. Did you want to do the rolls, or do you want me to? Uh, yeah, if, you'd l if you're able to, go <laughs> ahead and... Uh, get the rolls going and um, we can start doing the raffles simultaneously and if anybody um, has any other feel, go feel good stories that they'd like to share um, by all means do a slash raise and we can get those as well alright Nylon is helping me with the uh, raffle he's going to be streaming it live okay. on Twitch do you want me to over? I've got everything uh, you should be able to see it on Twitch now if it Shall we I want to thank I want to thank everybody who donated prizes for our raffle. We couldn't have a raffle without you. And I also want to thank everybody who purchased tickets. Um, the proceeds from these raffles, it goes to um, offset some of the expenses for our community, like uh, Ventrilo, email, domain names, and things like that that don't come free. Um, and uh, sometimes we come up short at the end of the year. We don't have enough coming in to pay the expenses for that year. So um, I really want to... Um, let everyone know how much we appreciate you. Also, there will be some names um, that you'll see on the list that you did not purchase a ticket. There were a limited number of tickets um, handed out to chapter leaders when we did our chapter leader meeting earlier. And um, I think they did two, a chap two per chapter um, that they um, gave free tickets out a couple of pe to a couple of people randomly. So. Um, so if you uh, see your name on there and you didn't buy a ticket, that's why. All right, Nylon, the first, um, we've got 64 for the first one. And the first prize is a Steam game called Portal 2, and it's donated by Plain Bear. Thank you, Plain Bear. And that's, a, and that's a number 26. All right, number 26 is Katarina. Congratulations. Woo! Yay, Kat! Okay, so she okay. goes up to the top. Or you, you up can you update? update if you update the list, that'd be great. Yeah. Oh, do you want to take the names out and then move them over? Uh, go ahead. Uh, go ahead and we do that. That way, I can just do the other stuff. All 
I need to copy the whole list somewhere though, and I don't really know. Oh, if you want, oh, if you want I'll do it. I know. So, so the quick question from the list: Do all Academians raffle tickets go off with the win? Yes. The way we do that is um, we take the names out, and then if we go through a prize list twice, then we put them back in. So that way somebody can, can't win twice until everybody has had a chance to win once. If that makes sense. Alright, the next uh, prize in the raffle will be also a Steam Game Portal 2, which is also donated by Plain Bear. Thank you, Plain Bear. And uh, if you win these games by, from Plain Bear, you'll need to contact him on the form with your Steam ID so he can trans... Well, actually, just contact me. He actually went ahead and sent me the, uh, the game codes. The next, the next world number is 27. That would be Ant. Congratulations, Ant. All right, the next prize is another Steam game donated by Plain Bear and it is called Rocket League. The next, the next number is 3939. Congratulations to Force Master. The next prize in the raffle will be a Swarm t-shirt donated by Emperor Venom. Next, next number is 31, 31. Congratulations to Dead Man. Yay, Dead Man. I like how my name's spelled wrong. Yeah. Alright, the next prize is also a, a Swarm t-shirt. They're really awesome, by the way. Donated also by Emperor Venom. Thank you, Venom. Thank you. And that winner, and that winner is number 43. Congratulations, Sinti. <laughs> <laughs> the next, uh, the next prize up is some necklaces that are donated by King Zod and Queen Arwen. Thank you, uh, King Zod and Queen Arwen. And that winner is, and that number, winner is number thirty-five, thirty-five. 
congratulations to Colfair. All right, next up, we've got a $20 battle net card donated by Sienna, Angel, and Ellie. Hi, tonight is the same one, 44. I'm sorry, good one, I'm sorry, good one, but 44. Alright, my numbers went all weird on me on that one. Um, that stops at 33, and then I I'll see like that. I'll fix it. Alright, thanks. While we're doing the raffle, does anybody have another story to share in between? More stories. It's updated. It's updated for you. All right, thank you. And what was that number again? Forty-four. Forty-four. Congrats to Azure. Congrats. Congrats. <laughs> what did I want? You want a twenty-dollar battle net card? Nice. Awesome. Thank you. All right. The next prize up is a second $20 battle net card, also donated by Sienna, Angel, and Ellie. How exciting. How exciting. The next number is 10, one zero. And that winner is Nylon. Congratulations, Ooh, Nylon. Thank you. I guess, I, I guess I have to go back to World of Warcraft after all. <laughs> Amen, brother. All right, now we've got a third $20 battle net card, also donated by Sienna, Angel, and Allie, that's up for our next prize. The numbers, the numbers are dropping rather right than the generator. This number is three. Number three. Congratulations to Romsol. Got a twenty dollar battle net card. Congrats, you guys. And don't Romsel. forget, you can get the whole set of stuff for under twenty dollars. So, yeah. Here we go. All right. Thanks to Sienna, Angel, and Allie for donating those cards. That was awesome. All right. The next. Uh, prize on the raffle will be a steam game donated by me and it is Killing Floor. And that will go, that will go to number 13. Congratulations to Valonaline. All right, the next prize up is also a Steam game donated by me called Deadlight. Just when you, just when you thought the numbers couldn't get any lower, number one. All right, congratulations to Rain of Light Blade. That's going to take a lot of names out of it. <laughs> All right, next one up is a Steam game. It's called Dark Souls, and it is donated by Cryodan. And winner is number, winner is number 10. Congratulations, Green Fox. Congrats, Green. 
Alright. Hail Swarm! Hail Swarm? And Hail Swarm. Hey. He donated a second Dark Souls game on Steam. And that's the next prize up in the raffle. Number nine. Number nine. Congratulations to Misaki! Crap! Yeah. Good job! Alright guys, we've got two more prizes left in the raffle, and they are both uh, Swarm t-shirts, donated by Kalia, our newest Baroness! Nice! nice. What, what? <laughs> Bottom of the line. Bottom of the list. Number 11. Okay, Etrigan. Is that how you pronounce that? Congratulations, you won a swarm t shirt. Yay, Yay. One one Yay. I think you're the only one. <laughs> okay, I'm listed by my email card on there, so the first three is me as well. The last prize in uh, the season finale raffle is a Sinister Swarm t-shirt donated by Kalia. Once again, once again the last one on the list, number 10. Congratulations to Pure Dian. Yeah, Pure! Alright guys, thanks again to everybody who bought tickets, to everybody who donated prizes. We appreciate you supporting the Swarm. And uh, get with the people that donated your prize the next couple of days or so, and we'll get those prizes to you. And uh, hail Swarm! Thank you, Nylon, for helping with My pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks to everybody for watching our Twitch show. Twitch show. Twitch show. And by all means, they're awesome. Let's go ahead and jump into Team Fortress Classic and get some uh, community team building experience together. Alright, now I gotta go away key for a bit, but I'll be back. And unfortunately, I don't have Team Fortress installed, so sorry. No time like the present. I don't even own it. Now's the time, my friends. It's fun. I will classic, but I'll be ending this particular Twitch session. So it'll come. So it'll come back up. Thank you, Nala. You're welcome. You're welcome.